Ryan, two undefeated day. Talk us through the game. I um, thought we started off well. First half, passing the ball around, started quick. Unfortunately, they got a goal up, but I thought uh, we came back into the game and then second half started a bit slow. Passion wasn't there, quite they had a few knocks, a couple of changes, and then uh, they've got a sloppy goal at the end, so uh, dis disappointing really to lose, but it's been a good week. And Tom, we've had two tough challenges against Belgium this week, one win for you, one defeat. What lessons have you and the rest of the squad learnt? Yeah, I mean, for the squad, I think that it's been a big learning curve that we can't start slow against a strong opposition such as Belgium, and when you do, you get punished for it, so... Uh, going forward into the Argyle tournaments and to our Euros, I think we'll learn a lot. And uh, this week, tough test. How? What are your expectations for the, the Algarve trip? What are you are hoping to learn from that? Hopefully get a bit better defensively, uh, not leak as much goals and uh, hopefully win the games in the Algarve leading on to the Euros. And Tom Farnley, a lot of new lads have come into the, the squad this week. You just must... You know, it must be hard for yourselves realising the, the competition that's there for you. You're going to have to keep performing every week, but truly that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, it's really good to know that uh, the lads are pushing us for our places. And it makes everyone play better. Every lad that's come in has done well and made, had a good performance. So it means that John Peacock's got a lot of choices to make going forwards. But for us, I mean, it pushes us to do well, and I think we did it well ourselves.